so that by following your holy will, we may gain eternal salvation. My dear brothers and sisters, as we continue in our Easter joy, as we prepare ourselves for the coming of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost, we find ourselves in these ten days where Jesus had instructed his followers, his apostles, to wait for the coming, to pray, while they wait for the Spirit to come upon them, let us continue in our lives of prayer to be strengthened by the Spirit to go out into the world to proclaim and witness to the message of the good news of Jesus Christ. Please now make an examination of your conscience and confess your sins to God. Let's now awaken in our hearts a deep sense of sorrow for the sins we've committed. With confidence in the love and mercy of God, let us confess our sins as we recite together the second form of the continuum. I confess to Almighty God, in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned through my own fault, in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, or fail to do. I ask the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. My brothers and sisters, as an act of penance for our confession this day, I ask that we spend these few days between the Ascension and 
Pentecost as ones of increased prayer, knowing that at Pentecost we will be called to go out into the world to work together as followers of Christ, as parishes gather who gather in his name. Let us in these days find strength in prayer, that in the days to come we will find strength in being better, stronger witnesses. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. May our Lord and Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me, I absolve you from all your sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. Alleluia. So we are ambassadors for Christ, as if God were appealing through us. Alleluia. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Peace be with you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, hear the prayer of Jesus on our behalf. Move us from faith to love, and from love to unity, so that we may bear witness to his glory before the whole world. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter stood up in the midst of the brothers. There was a group of about 120 persons in one place. He said, My brothers, the scripture had to be fulfilled, which the Holy Spirit spoke beforehand through the mouth of David concerning Judas, who was the guide for those who arrested Jesus. He was numbered among us and was allotted a share in his ministry. For it is written in the book of Psalms, May another take his place. Therefore, it is necessary that one of the men who accompanied us the whole time, the Lord Jesus came and went among us, beginning from the baptism of John until the day on which he was taken up from us, become with us a witness to his resurrection. So they proposed to Judas, named Barsabbas, who was also known as Justice, and Matthias. Then they prayed, You, Lord, who know the hearts of all, show which one of these two you have chosen to take the place in this apostolic ministry, from which Judas turned away to go to his own place. Then they gave lots to them, and the lot fell upon Matthias, and he was counted with the eleven apostles. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks to God. The response for our psalm today, the Lord has set his throne in heaven. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. The Lord has set his throne in heaven. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so surpassing is his kindness for those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, 
So far has he put our transgressions from us. The Lord has set his throne in heaven. The Lord has established his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, you mighty in strength who do his bidding. The Lord has set his throne in heaven. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, if God so loved us, we also must love one another. No one has ever seen God, yet if we love one another, God remains in us, and his love is brought to perfection in us. This is how we know that we remain in him and he in us, that he has given us of his spirit. Moreover, we have seen and testified that the Father has sent his Son as Savior of the world. Whoever acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God remains in him, and he in God. We have come to know and to believe in the love God has for us. God is love, and whoever remains in love remains in God, and God in him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. I will not leave you orphans, says the Lord. I will come back to you, and your hearts will rejoice. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Cleanse my heart, my lips, Almighty God, as you cleanse the lips of the prophet Isaiah and the prophet Jonah. In your mercy, cleanse me, that I worthily to proclaim your holy gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be in my heart and on my lips, that I worthily proclaim his holy gospel. Amen. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory be to you, Lord. Lifting his eyes to heaven, Jesus prayed, saying, Holy Father, Keep them in your name that you have given me, so that they may be one, just as we are one. When I was with them, I protected them in your name that you gave me, and I guarded them, and none of them was lost, except the son of destruction, in order that the scripture might be fulfilled. But now I am coming to you. I speak this in the world, so that they may share my joy completely. I gave them your word, and the world hated them, because they do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. I do not ask that you take them out of the world, but that you keep them from the evil one. They do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. Consecrate them in the truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, so I sent them into the world. And I consecrate myself for them, so that they also may be consecrated in truth. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, I want to once again share a short reflection with you on this close of the Easter season, and especially upon this Gospel from St. John. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise be the name of Jesus Christ, now and forever. Amen. In this morning's Gospel, we hear our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ speaking to the Apostles at the Last Supper. At that meal where he gives himself to them in bread and in wine, that bread and wine that we still celebrate here, that still becomes his body and his blood among us, he speaks these words about going to the Father. And of course, we might first think that this had to do most importantly with his death that would be accomplished the very next day. He says, 
Now I am coming to you. I speak this to them in the world that they may share my joy completely. I gave them your word. I do not ask you to take them out of the world, and they don't belong to the world as I don't belong to the world. Certainly those words could all fit. As Jesus died upon the cross, but now we see them in light of the resurrection. We see them in a much more full, in a much more complete way when we realize that Jesus has now conquered death. These words do not speak of his leaving them in death, but rather these words speak to him going to the Father to prepare a place for them, to prepare a place for all his followers, and then leaving the apostles in the world to complete his mission. You see, he had given us his word, the Father's word that is in Christ, the Father's word that is Christ, he has given us. In the teaching of Scripture, absolutely. In his presence in the Eucharist, and in the body of Christ, when we are gathering together in worship, when we are working together, also in worship, that we may continue his work in the world. I am coming to you, Jesus says, now not thinking about his death, but rather thinking about the ascension of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, that we just celebrated a few days ago. I am coming to you. I speak this in the world that they may share my joy completely. And we share the joy that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ lives in the world today. He lives upon our altars. He lives in his word as it is proclaimed. And he lives in us, the body of Christ, as we go about accomplishing his work of love, mercy, compassion, help one for another. I do not ask you to take them out of the world, but to keep them from the evil one. Jesus' prayer that we be kept from all evil in the world, that we are able with the strength of Christ in us to set that aside. And each and every time we gather for Holy Mass, we take those moments in the sacrament of penance to cast that evil behind us, to put that evil aside that we may more intently focus on Christ. Consecrate them in the truth. Your word is truth. Consecrate us. That is to be our prayer, especially in these 10 days that we spend between the, the time of the Ascension and Pentecost. Jesus told his followers to stay in Jerusalem and spend moments in prayer until the power of the Spirit comes upon you. And we know that when that Spirit does, they go out into the world to begin to spread the message, consecrate them in truth. We pray, my brothers and sisters, in especially these days, that we be united in love and the truth that is our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He says, your word is truth. And we know that he's speaking not just of his gospel, his message as it is given us in Holy Scripture, but in fact, Jesus is the word, the word made flesh. And so his word is truth also means Jesus is truth. And again, Jesus says, as you sent me into the world, so I sent them into the world. My brothers and sisters, we are sent into the world. Not just the, the bishops, the priests, the deacons, and we remember that in our first reading today, that the apostle Matthias was joined to the, the group of the twelve to replace Judas, that there may be that full complement in holy orders. But it is not just those in holy orders who are sent into the world. 
we are all sent into the world. Consecrated in truth, sent into the world to proclaim that Jesus Christ lives, that he died to forgive our sins, that he lives to restore our life. And we proclaim it, not preach it, but proclaim it each and every day in how we live our lives, in the virtues that we encourage, in the virtues that we seek to strengthen in our lives, in casting sin and evil behind us in the sacrament of penance, in working together, helping, loving, as Scripture reminds us. We hear that so strongly in the letter of St. John that we have been reading throughout this season. If God so loved us, we must also love one another. God is love. Whoever remains in love remains in God and God in Him. To abide in love. And we must remember whenever we hear those words love, we mean the all self sacrificing love of Jesus Christ. We are called to share in that all self sacrificing love as we sacrifice. For each other as we seek to help each other as we seek to work together to announce to the world that Christ is among us and how we worship and how we sing those joyous Easter hymns acknowledging that Christ is alive how we work together building up his kingdom strengthening the body of Christ that is us when we gather together in work, in worship, in prayer. Our brothers and sisters, we are sent out into the world. We will celebrate that even more strongly a week from today when we gather for the solemnity of Pentecost, the birthday of the church. But let us know that these days are the days to prepare ourselves to seek to unite ourselves more fully in prayer, in worship, in the love that is the Christ among us. Consecrate them in the truth. Your word is truth. And now, let us get ourselves ready to be sent out into the world. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, True God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again. In fulfillment of the scriptures, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you. As we prepare for Pentecost, we know that even though we live in the world, we do not belong to the world. This truth calls us to pray for all people in union with Jesus who wills that no one be lost. Our response today is, Lord, hear our prayer. That the church will be guided by the Holy Spirit, 
in choosing candidates for the sacred ministries of holy orders, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Lord, whose throne is in heaven and who rules over all, may raise up on earth leaders within the church and within the nations who will do his will and stand for his virtues. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God's presence will live strongly in all people as they seek to love one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all Christians may put their faith and loyalty in God's love and find unity in the one fold and the one shepherd of Jesus Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That in this community and in all our parishes, we may be protected from the evil one and all evil ways. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That as we continue to rejoice in this Easter season, we will continue to witness to the risen Christ who lives among us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who suffer any affliction, physical, mental, or spiritual, that because of the generous love of Christ, peace and healing will also abound. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died may live forever, united to God who is love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And now, my brothers and sisters, for all those intentions that we each hold within our own hearts. That in calling on the love of the Lord Jesus, our prayers will be answered. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, as long as we love one another, you live in us, and your love is made complete in us. Receive all our prayers as we desire to share our lives and our love. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen, amen, I say to you. We speak of what we know, and we testify to what we have seen, but you people do not accept our testimony. Hallelujah. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which has been given in human hands and made. May it become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this wine, and one, and we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For your goodness, we have this wine to offer through the divine and work of human hands. May it become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Come, Holy Spirit, and bless this sacrifice which we have prepared for the glory of your holy name. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me of my sin. Receive this offering, most holy Trinity, which you make in memory of the Passion, Resurrection, and Ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ, and in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints. May they, whose memory we honor on earth, intercede for us in heaven. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice from my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good, and for the benefit of his holy church. Amen. 
Lord our God, receive these gifts from your faithful. May the great happiness you give us now come to perfection in your heavenly kingdom. We ask this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks for your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who after his resurrection plainly showed himself to all his disciples and in their presence ascended to heaven to give us a share in his divinity. Therefore, with the angels and archangels, with all the saints in the entire church, we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating unceasingly, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed are you, Lord of all majesty and King of eternal glory, through your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. In him your word was made flesh. In him the fullness of your grace was revealed in splendor. In all things he fulfilled your will and glorified your name. He proclaimed your kingdom to us. He broke the power of darkness over us. He took our guilt upon himself. He reconciled us to you and unlocked the new paradise for us. As the way, the truth, and the life, he has revealed your love to us. He humbled himself and became obedient, even to death on a cross, and by rising, restored our life. On that night in which he was betrayed, to undergo that suffering which he himself had chosen, he took bread into his hands, and lifting his eyes to you, his heavenly Father, he gave thanks. He blessed the bread, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it. For this is my body, which is given for you. When supper had ended, he took the cup and gave thanks to you. He blessed it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. Your death, Lord Jesus, we proclaim. Your resurrection we celebrate. Your return in glory we await. Therefore, Father, we remember the saving passion his glorious resurrection and his exaltation at your right hand. We await his coming in the fullness of majesty. We here set forth this sign of our faith in him, who offered you the perfect sacrifice and gained for us eternal salvation. Send your Holy Spirit, the giver of life and holiness upon us and upon these gifts, the bread and wine of eternal life. Holy Spirit, come to us. Fill us with your gift of grace. Take these gifts from our hands, Lord God, as an acceptable sacrifice, through which we offer ourselves to you, so that the bread which we break and the cup which we bless may be a sharing in the body and blood of your Son. May all who receive from your heavenly altar always remain united with you, together with your saints and chosen ones, with the blessed and glorious Virgin Mary, the Mother of our Lord, with your prophets and apostles, with your martyrs and confessors, 
all those who stand about your throne in praise and prayer. Grant also, Lord, a share in that glory to the departed and to those whom we remember before you. Deal with them and with all people according to your merciful kindness and let perpetual light shine upon them. Remember also your servants on earth, for whom we invoke your mercy, especially my brother bishops, the priests and deacons of our holy church, all of the members of the parishes of our church throughout the United States, Canada, throughout the world, all those who continue to be affected in this time of coronavirus. Bless your church throughout the world, grant it unity and peace, renew the earth according to your promise, remember all peoples, and grant that all nations may give you thanks, worshiping and praising your holy name. We ask this through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory are yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. The cup of blessing which we bless, is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread which we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? Because there is one bread, we who are many are one body, for we all partake of the one bread. In the union of divinity and humanity in Jesus Christ, bring us sanctification and eternal life. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Do not look at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And now, my brothers and sisters, to each and every one of you joining in these moments of prayer, I extend to you Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. My brothers and sisters, let us now pray together the first communion prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free me from all my sins and from every evil, Keep me faithful to your teaching, and never let me be parted from you. I will take the bread of heaven, and call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring me to everlasting life. Amen. Bring me to everlasting life. Amen.
brothers and sisters, since we are unable to receive Holy Communion together in these moments of prayer, let us together make an act of spiritual communion. Most loving Jesus, I adore you in the most blessed sacrament in which you are truly present. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart and heal my soul. I embrace you and unite myself with you. May I never be separated from you. Inflame my heart with the fire of your love, my Lord and Savior. Amen. Lord, may possess with your heart that which I have taken as food, and may the gift I have received be healing and strength, now and forever. Amen. Behold, I am sending you like sheep in the midst of wolves, so be shrewd as serpents and simple as doves. Alleluia. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, may the reception of this Holy Eucharist remind us of the countless millions who have not yet heard of the salvation that you have won for them. Grant that, through your Holy Church, they may learn of the way you have prepared for all people. For you live and reign, the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Peace be with you. Blessed be the name of the Lord, now and forever. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Hail to you, Mary. Praise and glory unto you, we bring. Sing, O child, in exaltation, a you sing. Sing, O child, in exaltation, of the virtue sing, how the hands had served our Saviour, who this world had made. Lo, the greatness of his glory, Mary's Son, our Lord, lo, the greatness of his glory, Mary's Son, our Lord, as his mother he did love her on every word. In obedience to her guidance, though he was her Lord. 
children, if you seek a truly blessed life. Honor Mary as dear Jesus throughout all his life. Honor Mary as Jesus throughout all his life.